Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. Well, almost Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year, I think. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean you think? <laughs> Today is New Year's Eve. <laughs> Today is New Year's Eve, yeah. yes. If you all don't know, Ryan often asks me what day of the week it is, what day of the month it is. So, yeah, <laughs> I guess this is typical. <laughs> Yep. Often. <clears throat> Often. Often. So I know a lot of people are really excited about tomorrow being January 1st, 2021. And we just took a little drive. We had to run an errand. And automatically in my car, our podcast episode that we did together for November came on the the speaker, the radio, because my phone is hooked up to my car. So just kind of popped on. So I think that was divine guidance for us to listen to the last couple months of our podcast. And it's been interesting. It's actually interesting to do this podcast because then our thoughts are documented. We, we're not scripted. So it's uh, kind of interesting to go back and listen and see how we were feeling in those prior months and see what was going on. Oh my God. I remember when I first started, I would script the podcast. And so did I. Oh my god! It was yeah, so we bad. really did though because we would write yours, and and I would edit it because I'm the editor behind the Wizard of Oz. It would take like curtains. five days to edit it, and then you would practice. Oh, it's just misery. you would practice a lot. I'd be like, "Are you done yet?" That was misery. <laughs> and then I was like, "Do I gotta do actually do this? Do <laughs> this shit? Do I gotta do this?" And then what's interesting for people to note is that then he would do his podcast and he'd have lots of like clicks. I can't even do it now. And some so's. And then when I started my podcast in April of 2019, it'll be two years this coming April, you know, here I was really critical of him and trying to coach him to do a better job. And then I was freaking doing the same thing. <laughs> yes. So yeah, but we, we've moved past that. But then when you start to think about it, then you start to do it again, which is, you know, yeah. we've talked about this before, but it's, yeah. it's just funny. And some days, you know, I, when I come on here, I don't even know what I'm going to say. That's true, too. I don't I don't really know. I've got some things in mind. It's how I do my podcast is like I have some ideas. It's kind of like fishing. Some days you just have to – It's I often get asked, it's like, how do you know what to do during your day? And it's very hard to explain because – I some days I don't really know. I really just go with how things are, like what the ocean looks like, how, how I'm feeling. Uh, it just you have a, you have some things in mind, but you really, honestly, I really just don't know. I wake up in the morning and I've got. I go to bed at night. I go to bed confused because I don't really know what I'm going to do until I actually get on the boat. So sometimes I have to bring every rod with me. Those are bad days when I have to bring every rod because I don't really know what the ocean is going to bring me. Right. So. But you always, I mean, we both are very intuitive people. Yeah, it, meaning that, so I just go with my intuition of what's going to happen based on history, based on tides. And then if things aren't working out, I go with my gut. And if something tells me I need to do something in my brain, that's what I do. And that's kind of the way the podcasts are some days. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do a podcast. Yeah. And then it all just flows. Yeah. And your so. posts. And same with me. That's why it's always interesting when other people say they batch their podcasts. Like you're not inspired to do the podcast a week before you do it. It happens automatically. Right. It happens automatically. It, it does. And it's it's really hard to explain. That's where a lot of intuition comes into play. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. It just clicks in. And that's what happens out on the water a lot. I get on a slow day, people will ask me, well, what are you going to do? And it's like my brain is functioning, but I can't explain to people why I do some things. Right. So but everyone with... has the power to develop their intuition. And some people just recognize that and embrace it and run with it. And some people just don't. Like it's just, you know, whatever choices you wish to make in life about what you believe. But if you believe, then it makes it easier to work on developing your intuition. And if and if you can work on that, I mean, it's, it's just an amazing, amazing yeah. tool, amazing power. Yeah. It's funny when I was reading, of course. The, it's when I was reading the Facebook group this morning and some comments from, from a client that I had um, 
um, last, when was it last, I don't know, I think it was last Saturday, the day after Christmas. Oh, when um, Richard and his yeah, friends? With yeah, with Richard and, and, and his crew, and uh, it was really miserable outside. It was cold, and I think it was like there was like six boats out there braving it out, but I kind of had a plan together. I, I knew that was going to have any current, and I had a plan, and then I just had to, you know, I had to work through it in my brain, and it came to fruition at the end of the day. Yeah. So we you, had, you crushed it. You had an amazing day. And just told the guys, they just had to have faith in me and then trust in what I had going on in my brain, and I'd get them through it. And we did. We crushed it. So, and it doesn't have to be, it's, it's like one of those things you're going to have days out there where every day, like every hour is just fantastic. It doesn't work like that all the time. So you have to fish those peak times and you have to know when they're going to happen. You have to know where to be at the right time and you have to be there. And sometimes you got to hold off going there. You just can't go there because you know, it ain't going to happen until four hours later. Yeah. So, yeah, this, and this is, Interesting because this actually kind of segues into something I wrote down that I had some major clarity on this morning on my walk. So this is like hot off the Melinda Brain Press. And it segues from even something a couple days ago. And if you follow me on Good Karma Success Coach, you know I love tarot cards. I've always loved tarot cards. It's actually like the first tool, uh, spiritual tool that I started to learn and get readings um, with years and years and years ago. And I'll write more about that this year. But the Ace of Swords is a card that I have been pulling for myself and has also appeared in a lot of my readings in the past couple of weeks. So anyhow, my freebie on the Good Karma Success Coach is a Believe and Take Action Daily Guide to Make You Feel Better. And something I was listening to this week was Joanna Hunter, who's also been on my podcast and is also a tarot card reader. So it all kind of comes together. And her webinar that she was talking about was believing and then knowing. Well, this is how we operate, Ryan and I do. Like we believe and we know and we continue to take action. But I layered in this morning when I was walking that First of all, people need to realize it starts with thought. And then you believe. And then it starts to build momentum. And then you know. And then you own it. That's really important piece. Yeah, Yeah, you got to own it. Owning it. Owning it. Owning it. That came to me this morning on my walk. Is really owning it and taking action. And I feel personally, you know, I've had two big aha moments this week in regard to things I think about and struggle with and have some fear around. And one of them was just the fact of really owning success, like really owning success. Often people don't. People don't own their success and they don't celebrate that enough. And keep building and taking action on that momentum. And I just think that's such a really key component. And that even goes with your your charters and what you were just explaining. Yeah. Like you had thoughts. Yep. And then you believed that you could do it. And then you started to catch the fish. And you knew. You're like, yep, we're in the right spot. This is the right time of day. The tides are right. Things are going right. I've got the right bait. And then you owned it. And the action all happened and it came together and you had a great day. Right. And you crushed it. It's so funny to say that with the right bait, it's like you, you, it's, it's so weird that morning was like, and I'm not going to go in specifics on the bait, but I have a, I had some bait that, and first of all, I, I wasn't using Speedos. <laughs> so everybody cracks me up on that, that, oh my God, the whole Speedo thing now is like out of control. But no, I didn't, I, I haven't used Speedos all month. You, you haven't used Speedos in a long time. It's been like months and and so you you just killed the whole speedo industry. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I wiped out every speedo in the Florida Keys, guys. Sorry about that. And I had guys like messaging me, "Oh, where are you getting the speedos?" Right, and I go, they I'm, wanted to, "Yeah, like, are you catching them on speedos?" Or there's no grouper here. I'm like, okay. So, anyways, my intuition before I left was I grabbed something out of my freezer. 
that I never use. And I was like, I'm going to bring this with me just because. And so I had, I had some amazing bait. And the bait, that amazing bait that had been working all month wasn't working. It wasn't, it wasn't doing what I needed to do. So I dug into the bait that I had in my freezer for several months. Some old Oscar Mayer hot dogs. Old Oscar Mayer wieners. We just, we just wrote their stock price up. <laughs> Some old Oscar Mayer wiener hot dogs. <laughs> we used to fish when I lived on the creek oh when I God, was a kid. Yeah. We would fish with Oscar Mayer wiener hot dogs. Yeah. To they, catch the crayfish. And they work. And they worked. And hot dogs you, so work. We, so, yeah, if stock prices go up on oh Monday God. for Oscar Mayer. <laughs> so, anyways, I dug into that crap and I cut it up and put it on the hook. And, yeah, sure as shit, you know. So, anyway, so I just, like, some, some of that stuff, you're like, gosh, should I do it? And your brain goes through your brain. It's just another thing you got to carry. Yeah. You know what? So. I think too, because one of the other things I wanted to say today is congrats on your amazing off the charts podcast listens this month. And thank you to the audience out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's I wouldn't even unbelievable have thought about month. It. and he's had a great year. So in general, so. amazing. There's tons of podcasts out there. It's a bloody, bloody ocean. And, um, and Ryan does not have guests. He does not over podcast in order to get listens like so many people do. They chop it up or do something every day or every other day. He doesn't. And his listens have been off the charts. So where I'm going with this too, besides saying thank you, is also that this is also your intuition. You didn't follow the leader. You didn't follow somebody else in their podcast regimen right? No. Like John Lee Dumas, perfect example. We were a part of Podcasters Paradise. He teaches to have interviews and he podcasted every day and that's how he grew his audience and it was a blue ocean. Let's just be honest. Kudos to him. It's fantastic. But it's just not like that anymore, right? So my point is that segues with what Ryan's saying is like follow your own intuition, people. You don't need to copy off of everybody else. You don't need to try to go up to somebody on the ocean and fish in their chum slick or steal their spot or copy every single thing. Like use the tools that you're given, but then develop your own and use your own intuition and strengthen that as your core tool to catch more fish or build your business or fix your relationship or whatever you want to do. Lose weight, you know, whatever you want to do in the new year. Use that as your main tool versus following what everyone else is doing out there. Because every day is different and everybody is different. Right. If I would have followed the leader, I do not believe in following the leader. And one of the most, like, it's so funny. It's, you see everybody, like, fishing on concrete right now. And I'm like, the clients look at me and they're like, why are they all packed over there? Because they do the same damn thing every year. But the guys that know where the sailfish are at are going to be right where I'm sitting. And sure enough, that's where they were at. So you have these guys that have been doing this for so many years. And they all everybody just tends to get into one little huddle spot. Because it's they've been so afraid, everybody's been so afraid to branch out and learn something different. So it just amazes me. Um, I don't follow the leader. I don't plan on it. And I... Inc- I I do the podcast because I really want people to learn, but I can tell you something. I'm changing all the time because I want to get better. My techniques change weekly. (laughs) Daily. And daily. One day you might do different the other day. Daily. They're changing daily. And some of the things I'm doing now are completely different than what I did two weeks ago. Um, I just, because that's the way my brain works. I'm, I'm always, always, always doing something different. So, and that's just, that's it. So that's, I've changed the way I yellowtail fish. I've changed the way I've mutton snapper fished. I change it. I change it a lot. I change it weekly based on the fish. So, and that's kind of it. So, yeah. And the grouper fishing, the grouper fishing, I learned a lot this month and it was awesome not having those speedos because, oh my God, did I learn a lot. <laughs> so a lot, a lot about that fish. So it was really, really cool. So 
Awesome. Anything else you want to say before we say thank you for an awesome 2020? Even though it was crazy, we still are counting our blessings for all the positive things that happened. And we're very grateful to everyone out there who's been a part of our journey. If anything, it's strengthened online relationships, which are then fun when we finally get to meet people in person. I yeah. had opportunity last weekend to meet someone in person who I had met online and become friends with over Zoom. And then you finally meet them. You're like, hi. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know, and then any of Ryan's, you know, clients that end up booking with him that you obviously get to meet. Sometimes I get to meet if I'm at the marina. Yep. That's just really cool. And, and we just love that. We're very appreciative and grateful to everyone out there and love hearing from everybody too. For sure. And then, you know, the podcast has brought some really good people into my life. Um, I'm, if anybody knows me, I I keep pretty much to myself, but I got to tell you what, the podcast has brought some really good people into my life that I've just, have just become part of it in certain ways, guys that I can pick up the phone and talk to. And I really, and you guys know who you are and I really like, thank you guys. I thank you guys for the emails it's really cool to see the emails from people that are um, that are successful out there, that are really wanting to learn, that are applying different techniques. I want to thank the people that purchased my courses. I really, you know, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the, the, the guys that have downloaded the app. We have some really cool stuff coming with that app. Uh, I'm taking it very slowly with the, with the app because this stuff is a lot of work. So... It's, it's, but it's going to be really fun what we have planned here for um, 2021. So I really appreciate it. It's an organic podcast, 100%. And, and, and group, and group, the, with the people that have joined in the group, the active people, I really appreciate the people that are active in the group. Really, I just, that's what groups are about. And it's good to see the, the posting. And I just appreciate people being very, forthcoming and honest in the group about what they're using because that's the way the podcast you know when I post something in the fishing report a fishing report like that then in there then I want people to do the same I tell people where to fish I just that that pod that that fishing report I did today or yesterday that, that that's some gold stuff in there right there so if you haven't listened to it you probably should and also so. too I, I I love because there's no such thing as mistakes right But when people share their challenges of the day. Yeah, the challenges. You know what I mean? Yes. Like that share is amazing because number one, you had the confidence to share it. So fucking kudos to you. Yep. And then number two, you just really helped somebody else out there because they might have had a shitty day on the water and not caught anything or something happened or they were cut off. And you know what? It just takes the energy out of it that it, it's personal like it's not personal stuff just happens and you just roll on and keep on fishing and you know maybe tomorrow will be a better day so right it's fishing right it's fishing and it's when you do it every day it's you know in your livelihood it's you still have to like take a step back and it's um whenever i have these windy days i i take some time to reflect and say Okay, you know, that's what I did in December. December was an amazing month for clients. Uh, We had a couple days that were absolutely insane with weather. But um, for the most part, it was just a great month. And I really, I look back on it and I really, really enjoyed fishing. I really did. It was just a good, it was just a really good time out there. Had some good group of guys. They were very patient. They love being out there. I fished with them before. They get it. So and having good people that work hard with you out there results in some amazing catches and and just like-minded individuals. That's really what I like about this podcast the most is that it seems to be the people that are contacting me and fishing with me are like-minded. And like-minded inv- individuals are always successful. So you really share the same thought patterns in life and with fishing and in the end you usually end up with something pretty cool so that's kind of you know something i think about a lot and one of the reasons why i keep doing this podcast is that so there's people out there that had that i didn't realize had the same thought patterns as i did and that's yeah, pretty cool alone. and i'm not alone and i felt like i was until i started doing this so which is cool so 
But yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Awesome. So thank you, everyone. Happy New Year! Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Help me, please. Help me. It's going to be a long day, please. All the, all the planets, they've all aligned. I've been on my world meditation this morning with the rest of the world, sending blessings and feeling high energy. So I have blessed every everything I can possibly bless. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all the candles are lit. Everything. So I have my little, my little bowl drum. I've, I've done it all. So anything that can be done to bring in blessings for the new year for everybody has been done as far as I know. So for me. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so thanks again. Feel free to connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. It's Melinda underscore Van Fleet. My podcast is Good Karma Success Coach, same as my website, and feel free to check out my website and sign up for the Believe and Take Action Daily Guides, and that will hook you up with the Monday Mojo Inspiration. And my private Facebook group is Good Karma Vibes, and I just really appreciate my growing community. I love you all, and I'm just very grateful and blessed. Brian, yeah. how can they get hold of you? Yeah, you can um, follow me on Instagram, see what I'm catching, Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys. If you want to get involved with the private Facebook group, it's Good Karma, um, Good Karma Sport Fishing. Um, I'm sorry, the Good Karma Sport Fishing podcast, and it's a private group. Again, you have to fill out all the rules, and then I'll take a look at your profile. So, and then that's it. Yeah, and go back if you have time and listen to our last couple months joint podcast because the messages don't go away. The messages are strong and inspirational and. They don't go away. It was good for us to re-listen to them, even though we're the ones that spoke them. So it's always good to remind yourself, even if it's not us, if it's someone else, a book you read a couple years ago, um, someone you used to listen to, you know, go back, refresh your memory. It takes, it takes a lot and a lot of work to get things to really sink in to make change. So often we just kind of move on from content and move on to the next thing, but in order to really grow and learn and change, you do have to really get it get it into your brain. So that's my it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.